coffee cafes available in all boards. But in today's video, we're going to be sharing with you four of our favourite healthy cafes and juice bar that you can check out next time you are in a wood. One of our cafes on our to-do list is definitely Clear Cafe. Clear Cafe is situated in the centre of Ubud on JL Hanneman Road, so it's really easy to get to. Yeah, it's the main road of Ubud, so you can't miss it. And we always love going to Clear Cafe because of its ambience, its atmosphere. As soon as you go in there, you just feel completely chilled and relaxed. And the food and the smoothies and the elixirs are next level. They are absolutely amazing. Okay, first up, we need to talk about the menu. Yeah, the venue is beautiful, it's next level. So as soon as you go into Clear Cafe, you take your shoes off, they give you a ticket so you don't you lose don't your it. shoes. Yeah. And then you walk through the round door, it's like a hobbit door, isn't it? It's a big round hobbit door. Yeah, but it's made for human size, like you don't have to crouch down to get it. It's beautiful. And so you walk through and on the left hand side, there is a lake with all, all the these koi massive fish. koi fish, which are like literally that big. And then they've also got seating upstairs, so you walk up the wooden spiral staircase and as soon as you go up there, they've also, they always have a quote which is written in orange petals. Yeah, um, so it's like an inspirational quote, um, which is just on the staircase there, so that's really nice. Yeah. So it's a really nice vibe. Yeah, and they have a fireman's pole. Yeah, because that's essential. As soon as you've eaten all the food and yeah, you're really need to full, go down the fireman's you need pole. to go down the fireman's pole. And just don't get stuck halfway down because then it's like a bit awkward. Yeah, just hanging there. So the food at Clear Cafe, you've got gluten friendly, you've, you've got, got dairy, dairy free. friendly, you've got allergy free, you you've have got vegan, vegan vegetarian, vegetarian, non vegetarian. I mean, and yeah, and there's meat options. So if options. you're going in a group and some people eat meat, some people are vegan, gluten free, and you really or need a allergy, cater, you can honestly yeah. cater for everyone in that group. Okay, right. What do you end up ordering from the menu? So I ordered the Tofu vegetarian nasi goreng as my main lunch meal, and I ordered the strawberry dream thick shake, which actually was made from dairy free cashew milk. Mm. And how much was that? That was $8.50 for both, so 85,000 rupees. Wow, so cheap, hey? Yeah, so cheap. What would you rate your meal? Look, I'll rate it a three and a half coconuts out of five because it unfortunately wasn't as good as last time. I had high expectations, it just didn't meet that this time around. The flavour wasn't there. And um, yeah, it was just a little bit unfortunate, mm. but it was a one-off. We only went once, and there's so many more meals on the menu that um, we probably could try. Yeah, so, and I, yeah. I would say I, I think I chose the better lunch meal um, out of both of us. Yeah, I think you did. We're all trying to like do <laughs> uh, So I ordered the vegan Dragon Bowl, yeah. and I also ordered the Chakamaka, which was um, a chocolate smoothie. It was more on the maca side in terms of flavour, sort of chocolate, which. Yeah. You know, I would have preferred more of a chocolate flavor, but it's still really good. But that vegan Dragon Ball, man, I don't know what they did to that tempeh, tempeh it but tempeh. it was amazing. It's hard to make tempeh taste good. Yeah, they did a good job and they did a really good job. So I would definitely yeah. have that meal again. And how much was yours? Um, so that was 11.50 AUD, so, yeah, so it was cheap. still really, really affordable. That's the great thing about Clear Cafe is that it's fantastic, healthy food and it is very affordable. Yeah, so how many coconuts would you give your meal in your experience? I would say I would rate mine 4 out of 5 coconuts. I was really happy with my decision. Um, so yeah, definitely guys, if you're in Ubud, check out Clear Cafe, we highly recommend it. And our second cafe recommendation is Zest. Zest or good. We were highly recommend to go to Zest by so Beautiful. many friends and colleagues. So it's definitely a must go to. Yeah, it's about 21 minute walk from the center of Upwood. But if you are catching a cab or going by school, it's about an eight minute drive. But if you want to walk and work up that Upwood sweat, go for it. Like we did. That's what we did. It was enjoyable. So Rach, what did we end up getting uh, for dinner? We got everything with the whole friggin' menu. We got the whole menu because we were on a mission. No, look, we got two pieces. So what was it called? One was the Matafaka, great name. Zesty Matafaka. I think even the waitress was a bit like, uh, 
She didn't want to say what? it. <laughs> she wouldn't want to say the whole word. Okay. So the Matafaka, we got the... Uh, we got the Roman Jack, which was basically a jackfruit based pizza. pizza. Um, yeah. we, we got also... the bearded Mexican, which was a really awesome Mexican wrap. And we and got the, the Zesty, Zesty AF, AF salad, salad, which was yeah. really super delicious. And we got two desserts. Yes, we got brownie in the glass, and we also got um, the sweet, uh, what was it called? Like a tapioca, sweet tapioca flatbread. flatbread, which was like n like vegan Nutella on the inside. Yeah, so that was. Yeah, so really up good. all up, that was about $42 Australian for six di dishes. Yes. So roughly yeah. around seven or so dollars per, per meal, meal, which is still very cheap according to Australian standards. Yeah, so let's jump into the breakfast. Yeah, so I remember we ordered the Holy Trinity breakfast. Yeah, I ordered the Sinner. The sinner and I order the winner, which is, I don't know, sort of fitting for us. For us. <laughs> uh, so in the Holy Trinity, you basically get to choose a juice. Yeah, like a juice shot. A juice shot and then a main and then followed by like a, like a latte, latte or a coffee. coffee. Or like a chai or a tea. Yeah. And so what did you end up ordering? I ended up getting like the hash brown mushroom ration, mm -hmm. which had like the cheese on top, which was so good. And then I had like the, the pancake as well. It was quite small, mm. but it was really yummy. It was mm -hmm. really good. And then I think you got the beetroot shot, where yeah. I got the moringa shot, which yeah. has a lot of vitamins and minerals. It's actually really nutritious, mm -hmm. and moringa is quite easy to find in Bali. Um, so I ended up getting that, and it tastes good as well. Yeah. And then I also got um, these kraut wraps, um, which are full of vegetables, yeah, and then it was a side like a little raw, fruit salad. Little raw wrap. Yeah. And then I got the uh, turmeric latte, where you got the chai latte. Um, so all together, it was really cheap. It was $9.90 um, Australian, Australian per, person. per person for those three things. Our recommendations are... Definitely go to Zest uh, for dinner. I would say dinner was amazing. It was amazing. It was so good. The food was so tasty yeah, for 100% plant-based and the yeah. dessert was fantastic. Yeah, I think breakfast is a little bit on the smaller mm -hmm. side, only because we did sort of choose the set menu, but yeah. I think if we were to go back, we would choose the breakfast, but not the, set, the separate. separate meals. Yeah, definitely yeah. don't go for the Holy Trinity if you are starving, because the, no. the portion size sizes are small. smaller and yeah. But we didn't actually look at, we didn't actually get anything else, so we only had the set menu. So it's hard to say, but we would definitely go back to Zest. It was an incredible atmosphere. The cafe was amazing. The staff was amazing. It was an incredible place to chill out. Yes. Yeah. And we would definitely 100% be back. Absolutely. So make sure you go to Zest and put it on your cafe list. Definitely. And well, how would you rate it, Rach? Out of five coconuts, how would you rate Zest? Look, four stars. Four, four stars? Four, four coconuts. coconuts. Not stars, co coconuts. So four out of five. Absolutely. Put Zest on your to-do list when you're in Ubud next. And our third recommendation is Alchemy. Alchemy. So the uh, Alchemy is located very close to Zest. Uh, it's only a two minute walk from Zest, so in the same location, which is a 25 minute walk from the center of Ubud or a 10 minute drive um, on the car or on a scooter. Yeah, it's literally around the corner from Zest. So if you want to go to Zest for breakfast, they've got Alchemy for lunch, you can do that. And they also have a like a little shop, so a store there, so you can buy a few little knickknacks or perfumes everything yeah, sort of natural, oils, yeah. take some juices away with you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. great. It's really cool, so let's jump into the food. At Alchemy is 100% plant-based, similar to Zest, um, but Alchemy is known for its salad bar. Oh my god, the salads are oh, so freaking good. So good, they are yeah. massive bowls. Yeah, and we didn't actually order anything off the menu, we just went mm -hmm. straight to the salad mm -hmm. bar. Mm -hmm. So you go up to the salad bar, you, you know, I think it's four, in, um, four sort of ingredients that you get to choose. Um, so often it's like a greens, yeah. um, and then yeah, like a mixed veggie yeah, type. Yeah, like a kimchi, yeah. then all your toppings. They had like um, coconut chips, and they had like Seaweed. kale chips, they had um, sunflower seeds, seeds cashews. Uh, so it is, I think it's $6.90 Australian for the base salad, and then if you want to add additional toppings i think it's an extra two dollars per topping but do add the toppings the nuts and seeds is what makes it really filling because you're getting extra protein and fat yeah. um, but also the flavor is incredible yeah and it comes from the salad dressings but the salad dressings are so good i'm like how come i can't make salad dressings like this i don't know i wish i sold some because we bring it back yeah. But it's so good. The best <laughs> salad dressing is the sesame salad dressing, so make sure you grab that um, if you go to Alchemy. Yeah, I think it was like the sesame oyster. Just to be really specific, but it's sesame something. So. <laughs> 
Okay, and so if you guys um, love salad, then be prepared mm -hmm. to be blown away by these salads. Yeah, definitely. And yeah. another thing that I would say you can't miss is the raw treats, particularly. Oh my god, that bounty bar that tastes bounty like a real bar. bounty, but it's not. It's like. It's so much coconut. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Like, it's coconut with like vegan chocolate on the outside, but it tastes like a real bounty bar. You truly feel like, like oh you're on a Balinese holiday yeah. when you eat this bounty it's bar. It's a healthy treat and you don't feel guilty after no. eating it. We might have had two each. each. We had a few. We had a few. Had a few going on. Make sure you had the bounty bar. Yeah. But after saying that, Ray, what would you rate Alchemy? Five out of five coconuts. And I'm always going to be going back to Alchemy because Alchemy is incredible. We love it there. We love it. We love seriously, it. I'm a convert for life. Ticks all the boxes. Yeah. As soon as you go to Bali, go to Alchemy. Do it. Um, because we didn't actually have this on our itinerary at all. It's not on our to do list, um, but we stumbled across it after Alchemy. And that was Wayne's Coconut Juice Bar! Woohoo! Okay, if you guys love juices, you'll love this place because it has every single juice you can think of. And it's 100% organic. Yes. So as soon as you walk out of Alchemy, you turn left and then you'll see a little brown sign that says Wayne's Coconut Juice Bar. It is easy miss so keep your eyes peeled yeah. but then you walk down the alleyway yeah to and it's right there yeah and it's right there and they make all the juices fresh on the spot and if you do, are staying in a villa then they do um orders as well so you can get takeaway and, and deliver, deliver it to your villa in glass bottles not plastic which is also a nice benefit as well definitely okay let's talk about the juices we went here a couple of times and both times i think the first time i got the coconut water mm -hmm. which is bottled into a glass bottle on the spot which, which is, is really, really handy if you're going to a tour or something afterwards yeah exactly because taking coconut in your bag is probably not going to be the it's best a bit way heavy to and a bit of an inconvenience slightly I would say. and then the second time round we got the green juice what was that yeah uh, it, was it was the jamie's green juice i think it was um which was yes super green um but yummy and healthy uh and there's um on the menu i would say there's so many different green juices or like a number of different juices to choose from and in different sizes. Yeah, different sizes. So that we, um, you can get the medium size and then the larger size is about a litre. And I think the um, small size from memory is uh, between $2 to $3.50 depending on which type of juice you get. And the larger size is about $5. Five, yeah, $5.50 for a big one. So really affordable considering yeah. they're organic, yeah. freshly pressed on juices the spot. on the spot. So Chloe, what would you rate Wayne's Coconut Juice Bar? I would rate Wayne's Coconut Juice Bar, juice bar five freshly squeezed coconut juices. Okay. Wait, coconuts. <laughs> Put it on the list, Wayne's Coconut Juice Bar. If you liked our video on our recommendations for the best healthy cafes to visit in Ubud, then make sure you like this video. And if you'd like to check out our next video which is going to be on some activities you can do while you're in Oldwood then check that one out too and until next time we're the wellness twins empowering you to nourish your body rewire your mindset and, and ignite change. change ah so what should we do now Ray? should we go for a casual stroll on the beach no unless we go to the toilet I'm busting oh ah. okay all right just wait up wait a sec why are you running for